Welcome to NCIX Tech Tips. Today's episode is about HP ePrint, which is basically the ability to print something just by emailing it to your printer. Today's episode features the HP M1217 NFW multifunction printer. So it's capable of all the usual stuff. You got your tray loading, scanning and copying and faxing. You've got your flatbed scanning and copying and faxing. You've got, oh, hold on a minute. Ah, you've got your uh, tray where the paper comes out. Okay, you got your access to the toner cartridge and you have your tray where the paper goes in. So nothing out of the ordinary about this machine except for one thing. Not only can you print directly to it via a USB cable, you can print directly to it via an ethernet cable, directly to it via Wi-Fi. It has integrated wireless that allows you to connect to your local hotspot. And last but not least, you can print to it by simply emailing an email address that you set up, and it's pretty simple. All you do is email, in our case, techtips at hpeprint.com, and you just send it a document, and it will print out something that looks pretty much like whatever you send it. You can print Word documents, Excel documents, and even the contents of an email itself, whether it's from a computer or from your smartphone, including apps for iOS, Android, and BlackBerry. Setup's pretty simple. In fact, the procedure is one I haven't really seen before. We plugged the printer in via USB. It created a virtual drive that just ran the setup wizard for us. Alternately, you can go to the device's IP when it's connected over the network and you can activate it that way. Once you've followed through with the wizard, you create your own unique email address. It sets one up for you, but it's kind of a string of random characters, so it'd be incredibly difficult to remember. So don't worry about that. You set up your own, so in our case it's tech tips, and then once that's done, you're pretty much ready to go. Now, you can control the sharing settings for your printer. You can actually block by MAC address or by email domain, so you could set it, so if you're using it for your small business, only users at, you know, asterisk dot techtips.com are able to e-print uh, to, e to this particular device. Now there are two versions of ePrint. This is the cloud version where all of the documents are going to go to HP's secure cloud servers before they get sent to the printer itself. However, there is a more secure enterprise version that actually allows the documents to never leave your network. It should also be noted that this is a fairly low end model with ePrint, so it's only a monochrome printer and it doesn't have uh, a very sophisticated integrated display. For some of the higher end models, there are apps available as well, including things like Disney, where your kids can, you know, hopefully when you're supervising them, uh, can uh, go to like the Disney app and print out things like coloring pages and all that kind of good stuff as well. Even things like Google Maps where you can print out a map using the app that's built in to the printer. One other benefit of the enterprise version is that it allows you to not only use ePrint with HP printers, but you can actually use it with any printer that supports PCL 3, 5, or 6. So we're going to do a few live demos here. This particular one is with just a simple email. So I have an email where the body of text says, let's see if this works over and over and over again. I'm sending it to techtips at hpeprint.com so you guys can see that it is ready. We can see the IP address is being displayed on the display. And this will probably take a second because we are waiting for it to make it all the way to HP's cloud servers, get processed and Rekajiggered somehow, and then, aha, printing document! So without even needing to be on the same local network through 3G, I can email something to this email address that I randomly created, and... The suspense is killing me here. It works! Now it's demo number two time. In this case, I am sending an email with no subject line and no text at all. And well, it's full of text, but we'll have to eliminate that somehow if I can figure out how to use my phone. Select all and delete. And so this is an Excel document that is actually Slick's bill for his uh, services over the last month. And we're gonna send that, they're gonna process it, and then it is going to Print out, just from emailing an attachment to that address, I can print things to my printer. 
printing document now. In fact, that one went a little bit faster, I think. Although I could be wrong. I'm just kind of sitting here on my tech tips stool in front of my tech tips table, seeing how much slick is going to cost for tech tips. Oh, I don't know why we pay him at all. He's terrible. But uh, there you go. There's the Excel document with his bill, which has a listing of how many videos and all that kind of good stuff. So we can print attachments as well. So the last way we're going to show you to print stuff is actually going to be through the app. So there's an app for iOS, Android, as well as Blackberry. And what we're going to do is you can print from photos, the web, email. Actually, let's print from the web. So we're going to go to, let's go to, I haven't actually tried printing from the web yet, but I mean, it works reasonably well. So my expectation is that this should go pretty well for me. Let's go to ncix.com and print the homepage just for the lulls. Wait for it to load and print. I think I accidentally pressed the refresh button, not the print button. Let's try that one more time. Print and print. No idea how this is going to go, but it shouldn't take that long. And we are finding out in real time how ePrint makes our lives better. So here you can see the, uh, the app itself is telling us all about how it's sending the job to ePrint. And by the time Slick managed to get it focused, it was done. So you can do photos, web, email. Through my email, I can access my various accounts. So I've added uh, my account to the Gmail portion of it. Uh, see, there you go. I'm not going to go into there because you'll be able to see the subjects of all of my emails. But I think you guys get the point. So here we are. It's ready. It's willing. And oh yeah, formats. So it can print a variety of different formats. So there's Office as well as text, uh, emails obviously, uh, HTML, which I guess makes sense if you're going to print a web page, prints uh, photos, prints PDFs. So your, your bases are pretty much covered. I mean, this is a monochrome printer, so I wouldn't be printing any photos off of it anyway. But uh, I think it's important to be doing this demo in real time. Otherwise, I wouldn't be giving you guys so much filler right now, just so you can see how quickly it works. It's actually not that much slower than printing something on your local network. And there you go. NCIX is out of this world sale event. And uh, you can have a closer look at this if you want, if Slick can get the uh, focus wheel going on it. There we are. Thank you for checking out this episode of NCIX Tech Tips on HP's ePrint technology. And don't forget to subscribe to NTI, N to NTI, NT, NCI Tech, NCIX Tech Tips. <laughs> don't forget to subscribe to this channel, the one you're watching right now. The button is up there.